After years of construction, the new 6th Street Viaduct Bridge is just days away from opening to the public. Yeah, this is so exciting. The 3,500-foot mm. bridge spans the L.A. River and the 101 freeway and will connect historic Boyle Heights on the east side with the downtown Arts District on the west. KKL 9's Jasmine Veal got an up-close look with the architect who made his vision come to life. Mm -hmm. So I'm standing on the $588 million 6th Street Viaduct. This right here is the largest bridge project in the history of Los Angeles, and it will be opening to the public this weekend. There's a new star in town, and she's almost screen ready. Just a few more finishing touches. It's an unbelievably exciting moment. It's architect Michael Maltzen's creation from the ribbon of arches that span the LA River and 101 freeway to the curly Q ramps on either side. The 3,500 foot 6th Street viaduct is nearly complete. The vision of the bridge was to make a structure that went beyond simply taking cars from one side to the other. Take a look at this shot from Drone 9 showing the incredible view it gives of the city skyline for travelers moving along the bridge. It pays homage in its design to the 1932 bridge that was demolished in 2016, which had two pairs of iconic arches over the LA River and appeared in countless shows, music videos, and films like Greece. One of the goals of the, the city uh, was to replace the existing 6th Street Bridge, which was a backdrop for any number of films and commercials, with another important iconic background. So now we're right under the bridge. It is also earthquake ready, unlike the old one. The bridge in a major earthquake can move 30 inches in any direction laterally. It's almost floating. It feels like it's floating. Molson has big dreams for this viaduct that connects Boyle Heights on the east with the Arts District on the west. Since the announcement that Los Angeles was getting the Olympics was, I hope the torch runs across the bridge. People can either bike or walk down this ramp and make their way to a 12-acre public park. What better place to have a party? Or a Sunday drive, perhaps. Families used to pile into their cars and, and just go for a drive to see the city. I think the 6th Street Bridge is, is going to be a part of that kind of itinerary. The sold-out celebration is happening this weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. 15,000 people will be here on the bridge. Here in downtown Los Angeles, I'm Jasmine Veal, KKL 9 News.